Hi, I'm Mary Lee. I'm the founder of the Marietta Museum of Art and Whimsy. This was named after my grandmother, my mother, myself, and my niece, who are all Mariettas. We have artwork here that interests all ages. We have artwork that um, little kids enjoy and artwork that older people enjoy. When I was younger and going to art museums, I noticed that it was mostly uh, old dead white guys in the art museums. And I, want, I thought that was very unfair because I was surrounded by women who were doing very good work. And so I thought if I ever had something that I could change in my lifetime, that would be it. So we have about 50-50 of men and women artists. That was number one. Number two happened many years later when I took care of my uh, elderly parents. And I realized that I needed a place where I could go for a respite. And I needed somewhere to relax and kind of get my head straight again. So I thought that we all need a place where we can go and get just a little shot of uh, happiness or joy or just relaxation. That's one reason why we're trying so hard to keep this as a free museum, which is very unusual. Most places in town, you know, you pay uh, money. So this is a, a 501c3 nonprofit. We are a nonprofit and we rely on uh, donations uh, from people. I find that the artists at the outdoor art shows are doing work that's very dear to their heart. Um, many of them are not in galleries, and so they're not trying to make artwork that other people will like necessarily. They're just doing artwork that they like to do. I came to town in 1983 and went to uh, Ringland College. And I loved this area. I just thought it was a really neat area. And I always imagined that these motels would change into artists' co-ops. I, I just thought that it would be really great to have artist boutiques instead of some of the older motels mm -hmm. eventually. And I always wanted to buy property along uh, the North Trail, but I didn't have any money. So when I finally did uh, get some money, um, I looked at this area again and I thought, you know, that's a diamond in the rough. The North Trail is just a spectacular place. If you think of the North Trail as a problem, how are we going to fix the problem, okay? And one of the things that can happen and is happening is that the city has hired Karen Murphy for the uh, design studio and they're trying to figure out the code for all these areas. So one of the problems is that these um, these properties are very narrow. So if you have a museum, you have to have room for parking, you have to have room for the artwork, you have to have room for employees, you wanna have a gift store, a cafe, all of that. So how are we gonna fit that on a very narrow space? We're interested in going up. We would love to go up. You have to change the code in order to do that. So we're hoping that that will be done. What we'd like to do is put an addition on over here, a one-story addition over here, because we can only go up 25 feet right now, uh, over here that we would have a couple of office offices, a huge art storage area, and uh, we'd like to get that done. And then we'll put in our uh, gift store cafe. I think that North Trail is going to be the gem of Sarasota, just because of the fact that you have all these colleges, okay, and, you know, you've got New College, that Uni University of South Florida, you have Ringling College. There's students. I mean, that's wonderful. People don't think of Sarasota as a college town, but we are. I mean, we are truly a college town. And the museums along the trail are just fantastic. You don't see that on South Trail. You see that here. It's right here.